Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We are starting off at the Disneyland Hotel. Yes, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a downtown Disney update for you. Um, we're going to head over into Trader Sam's, though, because it's a little bit drizzly and cold and rainy outside. So we're yeah. going to try to get some tropical vibes. Then I think we're going to head into Disneyland for a little bit. It's going to be fun. It's, it's mainly downtown Disney and the hotels, but maybe we'll sneak in some Disneyland there. Yeah, and like Katie said, it's kind of gloomy today, uh, but it's still rad here at the Disneyland Hotel. I feel like this carpet doesn't get enough love. We are by the elevators of this tower and there are so many classic photos here. I mean, I always wonder in situations like this, where is like, this? where was that? Because <laughs> it just says Disneyland will never be completed. It's that caption, but right. I'm sure people know and could inform us. We know where that is. It's just so great to see though. Like, I think that's one of the things that's kind of underrated to come to Disneyland and like look at a lot of the history that they have here. Yeah, it's the Sherman Brothers. Just play it, boys. Isn't that what he said to them? Just play it. <laughs> I love the one with Mary Blair though, look at it. Yeah, a lot of these are Fantasyland so things good. because we're in the Fantasy Tower. Oh, Fred McMurray, look at that. Bob Hope, met him as a kid, got his autograph. We sat in his booth up there at the Golden Steer. Oh, we did. Yeah, there he is, Joey D. All right, Fantasia shop always has good stuff. Play in the parks. Well, play in the park, I guess. I, I always pluralize it, but you know. I do that sometimes too, though, because Disneyland and DCA to me are two different parks. Yeah. So, you know, I get it. I like this little gift shop. It's, it's still, it reminds me of Old World of Disney. Well, yeah, because these displays are it classics. It was like that a little bit. Yeah. I, I don't know, I just love it. I miss that Disney, you know? Yeah. I always love this line too. It's a good one. This the Mickey and Friends. Yeah, it's great. It is cool. I like this. They want for something like that. Oh, 44.99. That's, That's not, not bad too actually. Not bad actually. Yeah. And I like these bags. And the backpack wins. I mean, this is a proper backpack too. Cool. It has that luggage. Oh, it's got the luggage uh, thing, strap like on when there. You put it on the... I'm telling you, 54.99. That's not, not bad. Not and bad. you can put your laptop in there. Yeah. It's got that. It's got lots of like. It's not a flimsy backpack. It's no, but it's got lots of storage and lots of padding. Like this is a really good backpack. You wanted to bring your lunch and yeah, I'm digging it. And this whole know. the whole line I like. I love these ears. They're so cool. Ah, uh, the hats. Anything new? I just do a quick scan usually to see. I like the Mickey one up there, but it's still that was a smaller, smaller one. I just noticed around the corner here that they have a fuel rod station over here. Good to know. All right, did it stop raining? Uh, it's getting brighter Just out. about, yeah, it's getting there. We weren't supposed to really get too much and uh, that's kind of how it looks. Yeah, I'm still glad we brought an umbrella though because the reality is if we wouldn't have brought an umbrella, it would have rained. It would have been a downpour, yeah. no matter what it said. Is that Murphy's Law? Yes, I Old think Murphy. that is Murphy. Oh, Murphy. Ah, look at the sign for the Discovery Tower for people who don't know where it is because it's new, you know. Yes. That lost walk in the jungle paths around here. Do you like that this song came on the minute we started walking over here? Yeah. I love this path. It is nice. All right, rolling up to the spot. Tangle Roll Terrace. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the cornucopia of tropical fruits. Sorry. It's no. funny because I don't even think that's technically a cornucopia. It's not, right? but look, did you notice that there's a Dole Whip? There's a Dole there? Whip right there in a coconut. I wish they had them in little coconut cups. That would be cool. And a baguette, some various fruits. All things we like. Yeah. And then the sign is a tiki. I don't know if you ever noticed the. I love that. He's sign. holding up this part of it, like over his head. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> anyways, let's uh, venture. Let's see what we can get. Perfect day for this. It's total rainforest day. Yeah. All right, Katie just got herself a Dole Whip float that's usually seven bucks. It's a very special Dole Whip float though because I got it with hog juice. Oh, interesting. And it's a little bit different at Trader Sam's. It's like pineapple. Uh, lemon or lime, and they have like, it's a little bit of a different mixture of cog juice. It's not your standard. It's not your standard, but it's like a Disneyland magical twist on one. So if you ask them nicely and they happen to have it, uh, they will accommodate that for you. So get it with cog juice. I'm gonna uh, taste it for you so I can let you know, but I can. It looks amazing. I, I feel, I'm always looking for a non-alcoholic 
kind of cocktail or something fun to have when you're here, and this, this wins. All right, it's time. I'm gonna have to try some of this. It's really, really good. I know, right? Just gotta get some of everything. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my pog. Oh my goo, you've done it again. I feel like such a genius for just mixing up the juice concoction, but I'm proud of myself here, okay? I'm very proud. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that good? It's it's more tart. Yeah, it's got a zing to it. It's so good. You say tart, I say zing, but that's really good. I like it. Did I win at life today? Yeah, because I, I tend to um, steer away from the Dole Whip float. I mean, I like pineapple juice, but not in so much, but that I can tolerate. It's delicious. Really good. The mugs that are available here right now, they always have really cool collectors, mugs, tiki mugs that you can buy, different editions, like that shrunken head one. I've seen so many editions of that, as well as the one on the left, the hippopotami one, I think that's what that is. Piranha's awesome. We have a gold piranha, right? Mm -hmm. And we have a bunch of the Haunted Mansion ones. And you can see right here, people use them for swizzle sticks, and you know, they just look decorative, mm -hmm. you know? Going to town on that pineapple now, huh? It's good. Mm. It's so sweet. Yeah. It's always chill here in the morning, too, if you come by. Talk about easing into your Disney day, because I'm sure it's chaos at the parks, and you come here and just chill. It's very, very relaxing. All right, that was a success. That was uh, definitely going to revisit that. I would, uh, I would definitely try that with an adult uh, additive. Oh, Something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, rum, tiki, yeah, that'd be good. Anyways, sun was trying to come out for a minute there. It still is. Yeah. It's trying. Get a little bit before sunset. Yeah. I feel we're, like we'll be good. We're at the haunted ghost plant. Could be just some little aardvarks running around in there. I'm not really sure. All right, we leave the confines of the Disneyland Hotel as we pass by the best. I love these gates, the monorail gates. They are pretty great. X marks the monorail. <laughs> it's uh, a great addition. It is. Not gonna lie. Sorcerer's hat. Sorcery. All right, looking at Din Tai Fung, and boy, they are really making some progress and there's a lot of work going on over there that is a lot they are really powering through there my goodness steaming soon Katie I'm ready for it I'm I'm very curious though how long it's gonna take to get a reservation all right checking out the former ESPN zone building and uh, the entrance down there that you can see it's it's still open but you can see the Earl of Sandwich RV standing by I don't think it's open yet no not yet I'm pretty sure we'll know once it closes on the other end Lego Beast, it's been a while and uh, he's it's looking a little worn. Well, yeah, there's actually cobwebs I'm noticing in Belle's hair there. Oh, like, yeah. I know that like the weather is, is doing this, like the sun. Of course. You know, like I get it, but it needs to be kind of like cleaned and fixed up. I wonder if this is indicating that maybe it's not going to be here. Like if they're not refreshing it, you know? Right, if they're not doing it for a reason. I mean, even the Buzz Lightyear, look yeah, at it. Yeah, look over here at the Toy Story one. This is like... It used to be such vibrant greens and blues and, you know, Buzz Lightyear used to be a, a little bit bright, actually a lot of bit brighter. Yeah. But yeah, what if that's what it is, though? It's definitely worn. Yeah, uh, the sun has not been kind. All right, not too crowded here today. And uh, let's check out the, there's a new corn dog over here. And there it is, the Mexican street corn dog. Yo, that looks pretty good. I, I, I might actually try that. Yeah, it's got the cotilla cheese and it's got the... Um, the garlic sauce on there and it's served with lime and it's got corn. I'm telling I mean, you. I'm there, telling that you. can't be bad. There's no way that that isn't delicious. And they also have pins, which I think is really cool. And then over at California Churro, they have, uh, looks like a matcha and a taro churro. Yeah, those are probably just for the last bit of Lunar New Year because it says limited time. Oh yeah, get them while they're still here. And while we're sitting here looking at these planners, I'm curious if they're gonna do something for spring. And the thing that I remember was that like, Remember how they looked like, depending on what angle you looked at, it was oh, like Mickey and Goofy and whatnot. They were sculptures that were, you had to be at the right angle. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, is that, was that spring when that was happening? I think it was, it's hard to recall, but yeah, I hope they do that again. All right, we're taking a look at Tortilla Joe's oh, in, its, Joe's. in its final days. Um, it, what I'm noticing is that they, they seem to be starting to kind of already push back the patio. It's way back uh, off of the fountain, more so than it's been in a long time so knowing that its days are numbered it, to me it's like they're just so sad. trying to start to <laughs> strip it down a little bit and you know take down some of the tables out there but uh yeah it's a sad thing and i hope this fountain you know we love this fountain here and i hope that uh 
it stays. It just you just never know. I the mean, fountain is so iconic to me. Like I feel like if this fountain goes, I'm gonna just cry. I'm gonna cry a lot. I'm yeah. already gonna be sad about Joe's. I, mean, I don't need the fountain to go now. <laughs> it's already damaged uh, that you can see. So the fact that they're not fixing it kind of scares me. I, it scares me a little too. That they're like, oh, it's not worth fixing because it's a it's gonna be a loss. We're gonna right. get rid of it. Uh, okay. So how rare is it that there's no line for uh, the Beignets Express? We went and checked out what their flavors are for the month, and they have a chocolate hazelnut. And if you want the chocolate hazelnut, you could just get a four pack of that. But you could also get it included in the variety pack there. But there's no substitutions. Bananas Foster, the Rainbow Crunch, and the Original Blaze. They also have sauces, chocolate velvet, a raspberry, and a caramel. We're here at uh, the intersection of Centric O and Home. <laughs> uh, right under Pele and Love Pop Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she lives on Love Pop Street. I would live on Love Pop Street. I think our viewers are enjoying some of the classic rock hits that I've been inter oh, interweaving into the Are they the enjoying vlogs. it, though? They are. The Jimi Hendrix uh, was well received, and now we just did a Doors. They're encouraging this behavior. Well, oh, boy. the old sprinkles is gutted. No more. <laughs> it's wide open there. There's no oh. wall. I so. miss sprinkles. But I'm actually really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Yeah. I have a, like, I don't know, I have a good feeling. It's going to be great. Because tr truly, I feel like this was a little underutilized, like, when it was k -Tal. For as big as it is. And I, yeah. I want to be able to go up into that turret up there. So I don't know <laughs> maybe they, maybe what that's going to take. Yeah. Maybe. All right, Carlos Gaetan. I always have a car conversation with Carlos about things. Imaginary. He's not listening, I know yeah. it, but I want to know if this is going to be something that's going to be available, Carlos, or is this just an artist rendering of a concept and we can't take it seriously? You know what I mean? I mean... Like this is pretty close, I would imagine. But again, they would say, sometimes it even has a disclaimer on the art. This one doesn't have it, but I've seen it say, like, artist concept only. Yeah. Hey, is there somebody up there? There is. Well, that's the second floor. You're oh. looking at this. Yeah, I want to go up there. Well, you never know. It looks like there's a bar over right there. What oh, there the, is. Kind of next to what they're building right there. Disney Dress Shop has this t-shirt on this mannequin that's a partner statue, and it's just a straight silhouette, which I think is really cool. I love it. Um, I wonder if they actually are selling it or if that's just for a display, because like... I know, it almost looks like a one-off, like they did it just for the... because it's like, so basic. The jeans that are on the mannequin, like they don't sell those. Right, or the shoes, to... right. But that, I would imagine, if you're going to put that and open it up like that, like, hey, look at this. Yeah, like, that's a good shirt. All right, there's the shirt right there. It's a really nice material, but there's also a different one here. It's the basic Walt Disney Studios logo. It's $34.99. I'm guessing they're all the same price. Okay, and then there's this cool mini one that I like. It's just the icon. All right, monorail time. Monorail to the monorail. Yeah, I think Elvis Costello's Veronica would be good to substitute monorail. <laughs> One of the best views in Disneyland. Even though it's a little cloudy, we still got some sun. It's illuminated. It looks amazing. I love seeing the subs go by. I know. I heard somebody say something was 15 minutes. I'm like, what was that? I know, I wonder what they're, I think they were talking about Small World. Because we were going by the Matterhorn and in my brain, I was like, maybe they're talking about Matterhorn. There's no they way. Weren't. The line was so like, That's true. extensive. I think they were also talking about Small World though. Fantasyland. If your fantasy is waiting in long lines, <laughs> sorry, I'm it just will kidding. Come true. No, it is a little fast. It's pretty, today. pretty intense. Yeah, Toads is saying it's 15 minutes. 
I'd say it's about 15 to 20. That's probably accurate. Here's how you can tell. You can tell when they put these ropes out, because these are never here usually. Uh, this is just wide open, and then you enter where the the gold uh, chains are. But when also, they put this up, you know it's bad. To be fair, it says 15 minutes from this point. Yeah, true. So, so a lot of times people ask us, hey, what day was it that you guys did this vlog? It's a Monday, which I've always told people, Mondays are usually really crowded. Yeah, because a lot of people will come like either Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or, or right. they'll do like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, they'll they'll extend, they'll have a Monday into the, as the last day. Yeah, to, yeah. I think the logic is that, oh, we'll catch a weekday less crowded be, yeah. and Mondays inherently are usually worse than like a true. Sunday or a Saturday. Very true. I don't know if that's the reason. I don't know. It, it, it kind of makes the most sense. But it also, the, the tickets are cheaper midweek, so that could stand to be more of logic. Usually, the answer to most questions in this world are like, why is something like this? It usually, if you break it down to the lowest common denominator nine times out of 10, it's money. So I don't know. I mean, it's, who knows? What do you guys think? We just changed our minds. We're going to cut through the side and double them back. I'm like, do I want to go into the crowd that is the front of the castle right now? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> To Frontierland, Katie. I love it. You have to say it like that until you leave Fantasyland. Now, I'm still in Fantasyland technically, so once I leave Fantasyland, I'll. Yeah, because Fantasy Fair is technically Fantasyland. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. It's a once little... you, you have to pass through the wooden gates, the logs of Frontierland for, for you to stop saying, like, Royal. Oh, got it. Okay. Once you go over there, I can't say it here because we're in Fantasyland, but. Can we take a second to appreciate this beautiful blooming tree right here? Yeah, look at that. Is, if that isn't the most beautiful thing, and wow. It's, I just love the even the shoreline. It's like cool, oh, it's like so beautiful. Yeah, it's a neat little zone right here. I think we just need a moment of appreciation for that for sure. Hey, remember those roses we were looking at the other day? Look. Oh, look at that. There's more. I think they added those planters too. Those rock work planters. I think those rocks have been there. Have they? Okay. Yeah, from my memory at least. I don't know, but anyways, uh, they look cool. They're probably fiberglass or something like that, but yeah. Yeah, I think those were like sculpted with the cat. I don't know. Coming we're going to have to look. I Something tells me those are new. I don't know. They don't look new because look at the bottom of them and then look at all True. the green. True. Oh, look at our uh, feathered friend over here taking a little break. I love the Disney ducks. All right, we're going to cross under over to Frontierland. Figaro's passed out, snoozing. Figaro's, yeah. Well, it's one of those days. It's like cloudy, lazy. It's a little gloomy. Yeah. We're now officially in Frontierland, so I can say, Frontierland. I can say <laughs> I say that, and I can say, if you're going to say something like Royal, I'd say Royal. Royal Flush, if we're playing poker, is all I know. I don't know about any Royal as far as Fantasyland goes. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you this sign right here. Steamer Mark Twain. That way. Why are we, why are we pointing this out? Oh, well, she's back. She's back in and over now, there at the port. You reckon she's running, though? It's hard to say, because I don't see people getting on. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get on over there. There it is. It is left Fowler's, finally. We're taking a look, but they're not, uh, they're not operating it today. It might just be temporary, because I see somebody over there on the right. Maybe it's just a late open today. Yeah, but there it is. Be. Wow, you can smell so the fresh it. paint. Okay, uh, Titanic. You can. Titanic, okay, what are you talking Rose. about? That's what she says. Like oh, Rose says, sorry, I don't know that I movie that well. I smell the fresh paint. Oh. You literally posed a, pulled a rose. Okay. But I have to say, it is so nice to see it back here. It's weird not seeing the window open up there. Oh yeah, you're right. Usually the, the window, the first window on the left is always open. Look at how like nice and refreshed it looks. Look yeah. at that. Like brand new. Yep, still doing some maintenance, it looks like, over there, getting her ready. Even those life preservers looked like they were freshly painted. At first, I was afraid. No. I was petrified. No, no. All right, we're in Tomorrowland, and it's rare that it's kind of empty in this zone right here. Look yeah, at this. this is weird. Really weird. Usually, it's a pinch point, especially with the these walls making it feel tighter than it is. Yeah, definitely adds to it. We were thinking about maybe doing an attraction, but everything is pretty much like 45-ish, maybe 30 minutes. Um, even Star Tours right here is 55 minutes right now. <laughs> so uh, Monday, like, bloody Monday, and you can tell just by the stroller count. Yeah, the stroller. That should tell good. you right how how heavy duty the park is. Stroller barometer. Yeah. Alien Pizza Planet. That's right. We had to dip in. We're starving. I just I miss how it was like an old cafeteria style. Yeah, you'd walk up and grab what you wanted. That's how it's still laid out. They yeah. took out all the registers. There's only one thing left over yeah. here. Yeah. It used yeah. to be like it used to be like four. Well, because that was um, also where they would, you could grab some dessert or something. 
Yeah, this is all wide open now. It's so weird. I got the Nebulous World Pasta. It's like a spinach ricotta, basically, um, for all intents and purposes. I got the, it's kind of the like stir fry, like ginger garlic noodles, and um, it has some vegetables and chicken in it. Just sounded good. It smells good. It is good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at all that ricotta. And I guess the ricotta has some sort of um, chimichurri something in there. The goal is to try to not get messy with this bite. All right, okay. here we go. It's gonna get messy. Oh, you didn't make a big mess. Normally with all that sauce, it would become a mess. Yeah, so the chimichurri gives it a little kick. Okay. Um, it almost reminds me of like a uh, like a stuffed shells or a lasagna because oh, of the okay. ricotta, you know? Right, right. It's pretty good. I think that's why they have these noodles is to replicate lasagna a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the wide, flat noodle. Yeah, yeah. You know? Would you get it again? Uh-huh. Okay. Because I will say I will get this again. Like, this is good. This is just simple. There's really not much to it, but it's got just enough flavor. I feel like with any of these pastas, you should get a side of, oh, like, a piece of garlic bread. Like, a mm. little, just a, yeah. even if it's a small one. Well, you can get it, but it's an upcharge. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, you're just saying it should come with like a... Absolutely. Well, you know in like Tokyo and like some of the... I watched Dylan's videos and um, whenever they were eating something in Tokyo, like it was like a full meal, man. What it comes down to for me is like, you're nickel and diming people, we get it, it's cool. But you have to kind of leave certain areas alone if you're going to nickel and dime people. And what I mean by that is like, if you look at Costco, do you know why Costco has a $1.50 hot dog and soda still to this day? Not because it's cost effective, because the owner was a hot dog salesman when he was younger, one of the founders, and said, I want to set this price and it's always going to be this price no matter what. And when it got crazy, they came to him and said, we can't do this anymore. And he's like, I don't care. You're going to do it. And you're going to find a way. And they did. They built their own manufacturing plant for hot dogs, uh, one in LA, one in Chicago, and they got around the problem. But had they just decided oh, we're going to charge more that would be a never-ending cycle of charge more every couple of years and it's never going to end but yeah. you know they decided costco decided not to nickel and dime in that area because they're not making money off the food maybe they are but costco makes money off of volume merchandise right, they don't make right. money off a slice of pizza that's that's right. an incentive so that's that's my soapbox for the day 35 for uh astra i bet it's longer than that <laughs> That's one that I don't feel is extremely accurate. Ever, right? All right, it's literally about to rain again. I can, I'm looking out here and it's like- It does feel like dark. it. Dark, I can feel the dampness. It's like, uh-oh. Look at that ominous sky. Yeah, it is omniminous. Ah, <laughs> oh, the crystal arcade, Katie. Too there bad there's is. no pinball in there. That would be really cool. It was a real arcade. I mean, I know the word arcade doesn't mean no, I know games. It's it was way before hey, there was it's games. It's wishful thinking. You never know. Yeah. Well, it grows gloomier and gloomier, and By we the moment. we grow more tired and weary. And weary as the day progresses. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It was we a sure good did. time. Yeah. That yeah, was fun. Thanks to our patrons. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Best life and beyond. Bye bye, everybody.